It's the screen. Good morning, Chansey Cardinals, teachers and staff. It's time for the Chansey News. It's April 15th through April 19th, boys and girls. We're almost through April. Almost through April. Welcome back. Oh my gosh, almost through April. It's crazy how fast time flies. I know it. Crazy. Crazy, Miss <laughs> Burton. Yeah, and this week, Mr. Cahill's back. I'm back on the announcements. Welcome took a back. little break, but I'm back <laughs> this week. I know y'all missed me. Um, here's our <laughs> weekly weather prediction. So Monday, awesome day, 79 degrees, outdoor recess, hopefully back on. Um, Tuesday, again, 78 degrees, so very nice outside. No rain is on the radar. Uh, Wednesday, a little bit windy, so we're going to see some uh, blustery weather, but 79 degrees, so very warm. Definitely still outdoor recess week. Thursday, 76 degrees. And then Friday, cooling down a little bit. So 62 will feel cooler after a week of almost 80s. But again, very nice weather this week. Okay, Hill, you brought up a good point, though, about just outdoor recess and making sure mm -hmm. that everyone remembers that. Ms. Purton put up the slide. I don't know if you were even talking about this as well, but boys and girls, be respectful, responsible, and safe on the yep. playground. Teachers are watching. They're walking around. They're checking on you, and they're making sure that you're doing the right things. And so make sure you do, please. Absolutely, Miss Ivory, and that that slides right or flows right into this next slide where we're reminding you to come to school every day doing things the Chancy Cardinal way. And like Miss Ivory said, we are um, remembering to follow our school wide expectations. We have been telling you these expectations since the very beginning of the school year. Um, and so we are expecting you to come to school each day and do things responsibly safely and respectfully. And so that's, um, if you're on the playground, you should be doing that when you're in the building, when you're in your classroom or when you're in other areas. One of the things that we've been noticing boys and girls is in the mornings when you come in, make sure you are getting breakfast if you want it as soon as you get into the building. What's happening is some of you are coming into the building and you're going to meet up with your friends in the gym or <clears throat> kind of just hanging out in the hall. And then right when it's time to leave at 7.30 to go to class, you decide, oh, you know what? I want breakfast now. You cannot do that. When you get to school, as soon as you get here, go get breakfast in the cafeteria. You can eat your food in there and then go to where you need to go. So make sure you're doing that. We are paying attention and keeping our eyes out. And we never want to tell anyone that you can't get something to eat. But if you're not following the school-wide expectations and rules, we will have to say no. So make sure you are eating the food or getting your food when you get here in the morning. Um, another thing I'm noticing is when you all are in the building, walking about or going about your day or maybe running an errand or doing something for your teacher, make sure you are using your walking feet. Today I just about got knocked down from two fourth grade students who were flying down the hallway, running at full speed as if they were on the playground or uh, running in a track meet. And so I had to stop them and make them walk. And so I know all of you know, when you are inside of the building, we don't run. It's not safe. Save that for when you go outside. So those are the two things that I've been noticing that I wanted to touch on. Anything else, Miss Ivory and Mr. Cahill? No, but I'm happy you said the running in the halls thing because I completely agree. I've had to stop people like immediately because I almost got knocked down, but also it was so incredibly unsafe. I was worried about your safety mm -hmm. and I don't want you running in the hallway and you fall or you trip or something just happens. It is the most unsafe thing. And frankly, there's nothing, there's no emergency that you need to war run for. You're just walking to another classroom. And if you can't do it safely, you don't need to leave your classroom anyway then. If we can't trust you boys and girls and you don't need to leave. Um, I also appreciated what you said about breakfast in the morning because I'm in there with Miss Pretty and Mr. Thaxton and oftentimes you just sit there and you talk and you do nothing and then all of a sudden, oh, I, it's time to go. Boys and girls, you've been at Chansey since August. This is not new. We are past the 100 days of school. We're almost, we are at the end of the school year. So this is not a new concept or a new idea for you. This is the exact thing that we have been telling you from since August. So stop it. You know better, do better. Awesome. Yeah, I think with about 28 days left to school, we should all know the Chansey Cardinal uh, rules by now. Absolutely. 
All right, boys and girls, we are going to be practicing the Kentucky Summative Assessment this week. So this is for third, fourth, and fifth graders. We're going to be doing some practice tests to practice the skills that we've been learning all year, making sure that we have everything that we know what to do, and then just also practicing taking a test because this is a serious test. It's going to take some time um, putting you in test mode and giving you that experience so that you're uh, just well prepared to take it when it really counts um, at the end of the year. So take it seriously, do your own work, listen to your teacher, follow the directions. If you work with an accommodator, make sure you use your accommodations wisely. <clears throat> if you have questions, you know, try to ask them. We'll answer the ones that we can. If we can't answer them, we're going to tell you to do your best. And then it might be something that we recover later. Um, teachers take the practice test very seriously and I think this is going to help us prepare for the end of the school year. Also, I'm sorry. Also, teachers, lots of information will be coming to you so that we're prepared to give the practice test on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Okay. And boys and girls, I just want to remind you, I actually was talking to a fifth grader, and I won't say her name because I don't want to embarrass her, but she said, Miss Ivory, I went down on my MAP assessment. And I said, well, well, why, why did that happen? Because you had such a high score. How did, what happened that you went down? And she said, I wasn't focused and I was playing. Mm. I'm not going to say any names, Mr. Stahl's class. She knows who I'm talking to, but she told me she owned it, that she was not focused. Boys and girls, this is not the time to focus. We talked about this last week, being locked in. School is still in session. You are not headed to summer vacation yet. There is work to be done, and you need to prove how much you're learning and how much you're doing here at Chansey. Do not let us down, please. Stay don't focused. let yourselves down. Don't let yourself yes. down. You've worked so hard. Why not show off what you know? <laughs> Just makes sense to me. All right, and boys and girls, guess what? Something exciting. Woo! I feel like we need like some something. No one's ex no one's excited on this. Woo! Yeah, there we go. There's the excitement. You get a free book. You get a free book. Guys, it's like Oprah. Everyone gets a free book because Chancy has a book vending machine. Miss Ketchum Woo! has figured it out. We are going to give out some tokens and some certificates. Or what is that? It's no, it's like a, a little ticket. ticket. It's a you'll ticket. get a ticket you and then you'll ticket. use the token. Gonna pass, yep, the teachers are going to pass out the tickets to three kids each week in every classroom. So if you're in kindergarten, first grade, third grade, I mean, any grade really, you can get a ticket. Miss Ketchum will give you a magic token and you get to pick out a book. Now, mm -hmm. how do I get a ticket and a token, Miss Ivory? Well, mm -hmm. let me tell you. If you're caught doing the right thing with reading, if you're caught actually showing us that you enjoy reading, you love reading, you're here to learn, and maybe during our guided reading lessons or in small group, you're really focused and on task, then we're going to give you a token and a ticket, and you're going to pick out your own book. So, boys and girls, I think this is the most cool thing that's happened all year. Mm -hmm. maybe there's maybe some other cool things but it's a really cool thing and i think you'll enjoy it so earn your tokens and your tickets yes i cannot wait to see them using that all right Ooh, another exciting thing is happening next week it no is way, our, Jose, not two exciting things so exciting it is our chancy elementary world fest event and it is going to be amazing i have been working with so many people in our school to pull this together it is definitely a team effort and we have been getting all the plans and all the things together so that it can be a great event for you all and your families so we're going to have games we're going to have food trucks we're going to have music um, cultural fair, a multicultural parade, some performers, all the things. So boys and girls, be on the lookout for these two things. On Monday, you should get these two forms. So teachers, if you have not gotten them out of your mailbox, please go get them out of your mailbox and make sure you pass them out on Monday. Boys and girls, you will need to bring that uh, first one on the left back that says Chansey World Fest at the top. You'll need to bring that back if you and your family are planning on attending because that'll help us know um, about how many people to expect. 
And then the form on the right hand side is for anyone who's interested in being a part of our multicultural parade. We want you to come wearing your traditional clothing and showing off all of the um, things that you celebrate in your country. And then you will get to walk in front of the crowd and just show off your beautiful clothes and represent your country. So if you're interested in doing that, you won't have to say anything. So it's not like a talent show or anything like that. Simply just showing off your clothing um, and your beautiful faces. And so that is on the, um, that will be during World Fest, but we'll need that paperback if you're interested by Friday. Okay. So you'll get both of those papers. And if you're interested, make sure you send those back um, or bring those back to school this week. Aren't you all excited about this event? It's going to be so much fun. So exciting. Boys and girls, guess who's going to be there? Guess who's going to show up to World Fest? <gasps> who's coming to World Fest, Miss Ivory? Well, a special guest by the name of. It's Cahill and his whole Woo! family. <laughs> Mr. Cahill's going to be Yes, this awesome. year I'm going to be there. He's yes. going to be there with all his kids. His little, his, I was going to, never mind. All of his kids. You know what? There. There's several staff members who weren't able to go last year and they have been telling me, Miss Burton, I'm going to be there, Miss Burton. I'm coming, Miss Burton. What kind of, so I think it's like the word's out about how fantastic. The word is out. And the wow. weather, well, the weather. Oh, oh, I I hope hope no, the weather's going to be nice. Uh, In I mean, two weeks? Well, you're right. In two weeks, I'm not sure. You're yeah, right. Like, this ahead. week, the weather is great. You're right. That's a little far ahead. But he's but our in-house meteorologist, so he would know. I, I believe you're going to speak it into existence. It's going right. to be great weather. Perfect Everyone weather. Everyone will be there. Mm -hmm. you're, there's going to be all kinds of food, all kinds of fun, all kinds of excitement. It'll be the best thing ever. So I'm super pumped. Yeah. Um, boys and girls, don't forget this. You are important and unique. We appreciate you. We love you. And the reason we are really hard, like making sure that you know the things about being respectful, responsible, and safe and being locked in is because of that. You be the best that you can be. Work hard and be kind. You will change the world, you all. Have a great week. Let's have Bye. a great week, everybody.